What's up, guys? I'm back. Thanks for uh, stopping by. So today might be going a little bit longer. Got some new gear in. First, I'd like to start off with this new Wolfman. Look at this thing, man. The detail, open comb. You thought you'd get it before me, huh? You thought you'd get it before me, Chief. Nah, I'm just playing. This is a Razor Rod <laughs> Game Changer with a Stork handle. This guy's from Russia. His name's Stork on uh, Instagram. Amazing handles, check him out. This is a Game Changer. I'll probably use it in a different video. I just wanted to screw Chief a little bit. <laughs> but we actually do have some new gear. I just wanted to say a uh, big shout out to Marion the Barbarian. He doesn't really know me, but he's responsible for me getting this new brush. The fanboys let this one slip through the, the cracks on Facebook. Awesome brush, 28 millimeter. Yeah, he told Ken about it, and then Ken told me. Look at the look at the detail of the bats. Look at this. That's cool. For me, if the handle looks cool, that's great. That's that's like a bonus. If the knot is good, then it's a good brush. And this is a good knot. Perfect backbone. See how it's medium. Very dense, not, not overly dense. I mean, we'll, you'll see. We'll get into it. But so f I've only used it once. I used it uh, off camera. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty jelly. Not crazy jelly like my Leonidum. Pretty jelly. Um, we also got another interesting new addition to the den. The Sagus. So this is a... This kind of reminds me of a Wolfman handle too, actually. Anyways, I digress. So this is an interesting razor. This has a curved base plate and head. It's called a Sega's Zeppelin. And this is the 07 model. Purchased at Bull Goose, as you can see. Is this upside down? Yep. Bull Goose shaving. I don't think the gap is disclosed. I'll do more research. It's the it's made in Spain, stainless steel 316L. But wait till you see, like, look at this. It's curved. That's how it comes. It's not defective. <laughs> I mean, I was just too curious. One guy commented, made a review. He was like, it's better than the Wolfman. And I was like, ah, you got me curious, man. I'm going to throw a NASA in here. I'll go over the soap in just about a minute. Let's see. Let's load this bad boy up. How you guys been? I've been pretty good. It's been a long day, but I've been pretty, uh, staying pretty positive. You guys stay positive. All right, this is torqued down, no overhang. Pretty nice mirror finish. It's not mirror, uh, I take it back, it's not mirror, but it's nice, it's clean. Not crazy about the handle, the weight. It's on the heavier side, if I had to guesstimate, 110 grams, I'll verify in a future video. But yeah, look at this. It's curved. That's weird. And I had to try it because I'm super curious, just like Ken. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so there's like a little write-up on this. Let's see. It's thanks to the state-of-the-art design, new design innovation technology. We've created a unique closed comb head, which increases the tautness and blade subjection, providing an extremely smooth and close shape. Basically, they're saying it, uh, this is like innovative, that they're able to curve the blade more and there'll be less blade chatter. We'll put that to the test. Um, oh yeah, the soap. Zingari Man, number one. So this was perfumed by Byron. I got this on discount. Fantastic scent. Byron, a perfumer, he did an incredible job. I got this on discount because um, she said on the website or something, Heather, like uh, the base got messed up or it was before she perfected Sago. So what I noticed is um, it is softer. I did let it cure a bit and it hardened up a bit, but um. Uh, the lather is not like as voluminous or like as good as I wanted it to look with this, but it performs every bit as well as uh, the Sago base we all know and love, which is I think actually in my top five bases. But basically, it's rose and oud. That's like the main. If you like oud, it, oud is more more dominant. If you like oud, you'll like this. Um, we'll be matching that with the uh, Zingari Sago bomb. Um, so I have a couple issues with this. Um, yeah, so I've known this for a couple months, but it's kind of been like on my mind. Uh, yeah, so if you look at the ingredients of this, it's pretty, it's, this is actually my, the best performing bomb on the market, in my opinion. Um, but yeah.
But yeah, let's go over the ingredients. Water, which hazel extract, metal foam oil, glycerol stearate, uh, PEG 100 stearate, jojoba oil, oat seed oil, glycerin, allantoin, cetyl alcohol, acetyl alcohol, D, panthenol, sorbitol, fragrance. It's a lot of, we're getting there. Propylene, glycol, diazolidinyl, urea. Yeah. Lodo, propanil, butyl carb, carbamate, white willow extract, EDTA, tetrasodium. Um, yeah, so urea is basically urine. Um, I've been using it for months every day and it's been fine. It's the best performing bomb in the market, in my opinion. But it's been kind of like bothering me that I'm putting urine on my face. And I actually reached out to her, I think twice on IG um, and a radio silence. So if you see this, uh, this is not like an attack or anything. Like, please educate me. Um, I'm all about learning. Like, is there a benefit to it? Um, I know there, like, is there a skin benefit? Uh, has to do with separating like oils or something? I don't know. Cause like, I don't see any other artists in doing that, but you know, please educate me. So, but uh, without talking too much, let's get into loading. Uh, let's, let's do it. We'll go for, I don't know. We're at 20, we'll go up to 50. Sorry if this video is longer guys. Yeah, last night I shaved with Talbot V3 off camera and his brush performed wonderfully. Um, Paladins, hit or miss, man. I got the Beehive I sold to uh, Ken. And yeah, it was too scritchy, too much backbone, not dense enough. This 28 millimeter. Thanks, Marion. All right, we're at 30 seconds. We'll go up to 40, whatever. Should be enough, right? Yeah. Talking too much, sorry about that. Razor Rock. A lot of debate going on about pre-shaves, but um, make sure if you're someone who uses it, you're applying it correctly. I don't even do it in every video, but what I like to do is rub it in. You should develop some sort of proto lather. Yeah, you see that? So a lot of people, they just applicate it. Even I do it too. But I guess you could say the water activates it. I mean, you're going to lather it with a brush anyways. This is more of a glycerin. It's very glycerin heavy, this soap. This uh, pre-shave soap. All right, let's get into it. I just watched uh, Carlitos. He was shaving uh, that beach it looked like. I forgot, he said what, where it was, but I'm sorry, man, I forgot. Dude, that place looks beautiful. I gotta visit Puerto Rico, man. It's a beautiful place. Dude, I, think it's, I just think it's funny that Ken got us all on the carbon and we all like love it. We probably would have never gotten that razor Yeah, I don't know if that's the new brush smell or the oud. It smells a little sour. It's, uh, yeah, that's oud. That's just how oud is. I have a king of oud, and it's also like that. Very good, very good soap by Holy Cow. Sorry, guys, we're like almost 10 minutes in. <laughs> no, uh, no shaving yet. Yeah, so as you can see, great flow through on the brush. It doesn't hog the lather. And um, what I noticed is Paladins, they don't bloom like crazy, like a lot of other brushes, um, whom I shall not name uh, off the top of my head. But um, yeah, so if you get a 28 millimeter, if you like 26s, get a 28, because their 26s feel like 24 millimeters. Yep. Yes, yeah, so if I did this with like Noble Otter V3, um, the lather would be like up to here. Like, would, would be very voluminous, which I actually don't like. It's too voluminous. This is nice and dense. It's a good base. Poe Shave is pretty phenomenal on it, not gonna lie. All right, 
you should be good. Let's see if this razor was worth trying. Well, for the this is the aggressive version. For the aggressive version, it's very smooth. Not a ton of blade feel. I rated out a three out of ten initially. Um, I don't know if I have the right angle in right now. Wow. This is very interesting. It's picking up hair. We're working on like 24 hours of growth, not a ton, but I have like very thick hair. It grows back quick, so. This is very smooth. So far, it seems pretty efficient. We'll keep going. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's definitely got less blade feel than the carbon, the six point six eight. But I like it. You feel it. I just don't like that it has a uh, um, bull goose branding on it. You know. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's just, you're paying all this money. Doesn't make sense to me. I guess because it's an exclusive, yeah. Damn, yo, this, all right, this razor's smooth as hell. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's smooth. The weight is a little interesting. I don't think it's perfectly balanced. It's balanced towards the top, uh, probably because of the shape of the handle. Yeah, the head, it's head heavy, like if I'm, yeah. Sorry, I should have looked up the weight in grams or just weighed it myself. But, uh, yeah. Ooh. This is, it's smooth though. Um, more on the, effic uh, the efficiency after this pass. Yeah, I mean... There's nothing else with stubble. It's it's definitely smooth. I um I might try it with a Kai next time because Kais have uh, wider exposures, and that might add just that little bit of bleed feel that I'm looking for. All right, pass number two. Apparently, this thing takes in limited amounts of water, so. Why not? But yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe she was busy uh, or she just ignored me. I don't know. I'll, I'm giving, uh, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I, like I buy a lot of your pro I buy a lot of uh, Zingari products. I even have uh, like a face scrub that's not even made anymore. Great stuff. But like, you know, I'm just curious, you know, I... I'm one of those guys that actually reads the ingredients in all my soaps, all my uh, bombs and stuff. Um, that rescue potion is incredible. I haven't tried the Hoshitsu elix elixir by a &E, but definitely an impressive aftershave or anytime you want like, you know, your face to just feel better with added moisturization. But... Yeah, I don't know, that kind of bothered me a little bit. But whatever, I don't take it personal. But, uh, you know what? I'm in one of those moods. So, I think I'm just going to give this away. So, this is close to five ounces. I'll give... You know what? Alright, I have two of these. And the bomb. First person to comment their favorite soap. I will ship this out to you next week. Both soaps and the bomb. Unless you don't want to use one, you can let me know. Comment down below and let me know. I'm in that kind of mood. I got enough soap. 
Oh, wow. Smoother than the carbon. Damn efficient too. The handle is I'm not a fan. It's a little slippery. I think we got a winner, fellas. Wow. Ooh. I get too cocky. <laughs> I was going fast on uh, that pass. All right, I guess the green. I mean, yeah, it's definitely got bleed feel. Um, just a smidgen beneath the carbon. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison, don't you worry. But I like to get in tune with the Razer. Last night I used the Tatara Masamune Nadachi Hybrid and amazing Razer. That one's number two right now in my like rank, my personal rank of all my Razers. It's, it's number two, it's that good. The smoothness is just incredible. My face is pretty good, typically. Just gotta touch up the neck. Whew. Wow. I think the smoothness, the smoothness is just what's impressing me right now. If I use a lighter handle, this might be one hell of a razor. Yeah, but the residual slickness on this soap is damn good. A lot of straight razor shavers enjoy using this, and I can see why. Yeah, it's just Friday night right now. Hope you guys had a good week. Um, let's see. I got a couple cool soaps in. Spearhead, some Heritage Hill, some stuff I gotta get through. Um, but between that Nuevia and uh, like, I don't know, I just, <laughs> like I can't decide sometimes. Depends on the mood, right? Um, let's see, what do we need buff? It's pretty close, man. Closer than the Rocknell. I'd say so. The Rocknell, was efficient. It was a 2.0 gap. It wasn't as smooth, man. It's not as smooth as this um, zero blade chatter. The curve, the, it's, I mean, if that's ugly to you, I will not uh, argue that. But it's got the smoothness and efficiency so far. So I will be doing some further testing. The scent stays strong throughout the shave. I imagine this is partly because this is scented by a perfumer, the, uh, the fragrances. Um, whereas uh, Zingari Man, uh, you know, all the other scents are done by themselves. Um, and uh, it's scented on the lighter side only to prevent skin irritation, and I love that. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, but I like stronger scents too. This one doesn't give me irritation, so for me, that's that's a win. But you know what? I'll give it away. You guys are cool. That's what the community is about. Just having a good time. I mean, we're, I'm really buffing for no reason right now. It's, this stuff is close. It's not, it's not the most efficient razor I've ever used. Um, but it's, I think it's a good balance. Sorry guys, this video is a little bit longer. I started watching uh, this guy called Zen Shaves. 
he uses a, a free door. I don't know if he uses any other straights. I just started watching him. But he's got like a cool, chill vibe to him. Um, but yeah, he has like a lot of a, uh, what's it called? A lot of APR scents. I've never tried APR. Uh, I've never just been intrigued to try it. They don't use their own base and they're like impossible to find. I think that's why. <laughs> Nothing personal against the artisan. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. Chief has been saying that it's his favorite. They make the best sense ever, better than the great Sean Mayer. And I was like taken back by that comment. I was like, uh, now I gotta try it. <laughs> wow, post shave, pretty good. I haven't tried the vegan version before the Sego, but I heard good things. We're gliding. We are gliding. <sighs> oh yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit of uh, irritation. It has to do with the weight because I'm, I'm swapping between all these razors and I don't know how much pressure to put or not. Um, yeah. It's kind of like the Taiga, sneakily efficient, the way you can put it. But more blade feel than the Taiga, I'd say. I mean, yeah. The Taiga. The Russian. So I don't know, man. Maybe one day, instead of this, it'll be a gold dollar. But I'm afraid it's going to open another rabbit hole. <laughs> and I can't afford that. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing all you guys get into straight, straight, num straight, shave number 10, 5, 15, whatever. You guys are gradually getting better. And I'm just like chilling with my D's. But it's all good. One day. Not right now. All right, guys, I think I'm pretty good. Sorry again for the long video. I'm just gonna apply the uh, urea bomb. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Some rescue potion, because I definitely need that right now. Still a crap ton of lather in the brush. But yeah, let's see. Do two squirts. Much needed shave. Not many better feelings than a BBS shave. Not gonna lie. So yeah, I have mixed feelings on the Segus right now. Um, a little rough on the neck area here. It's it's you know, you it's one of those smooth razors. You sleep on it more efficient than you think it is because you don't feel the blade as much. But yeah, I'll be using it more. Paladin. 28 millimeter foul staff. Awesome brush. It's like a chubby handle. That's the closest thing I'll ever come to a chubby. But yeah, there you go. There you have it, fellas. Uh, sorry again for the long video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.